Hi everyone, this is Matt and I am Photo Videos, where I showcase my photography, videography, tutorials, and some other things that relate to this niche. If there are things that you are interested in, please hit up that like, subscribe, follow, a notification bell, or what have you. You guys know what to do. So in the previous tutorial, I mentioned about selection object tool in combination with masking. So it seems to be that it's a little bit advanced. Um, you know to do a combo but in this tutorial I actually want to just focus on a selection object tool it's very very simple and easy to do so what we have here is layer 0 my original image it's only one layer I uh, haven't created another layer yet but I'll do that right afterwards we want to get right into the object selection tool so you click and hold this little paint bucket tool or whatever the default icon currently in here click and hold it and then make sure you select the object selection tool you can also press W in your keyboard you pretty much just select the object that you want to isolate from the background just around the object there we go and your PC or computer would do its thing and here we are I know it's not a perfect selection tool I mean we still have like all these edges in here that obviously is not clean we can start cleaning that right now by holding press shift and you'll see a little plus sign in, in the middle of that icon um, the cursor and then you just select that area that you want to include there you go I mean, the computer does its best to select it for you. Let's say you don't want to select this area here. You can just press and hold Alt on your keyboard. And then you draw it out. It pretty much does the opposite thing than Shift. So same thing in here there we go right, that should be fine I just want to go through this tutorial and there's a part in here that's on the, L, uh, on the shoulder side so let's do the same thing okay so I think that should be pretty good so I want to select this part too there's like a little cut off in there there you go and then let's add that there you go and let's call it that so while you have this object selected what you want to do is you click on select and then inverse you can also press shift control i as a shortcut key and it will pretty much select the background so it's not your object anymore it just inverted it for you and then from here on out on your keyboard you press delete you'll see this grid lines in the back end which is basically your transparency background and what you want to do now is let's deselect this I don't want that little running line there so control D to deselect the picture and then from here you create a new layer put the layer in the bottom and click the bucket tool paint bucket tool you, you fill that bucket tool on layer one to white and there you have it guys this is the how, how to get rid of the background and um, the, she's in the white background now I mean I can change this to pink if I want to and click the bucket tool make sure layer one is highlight the bottom layer that is then change the background color and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and it's very it's a very very quick one than my other stuff but I just want to get this part um, explained better because uh, the other one is a little bit more advanced I didn't want to confuse everyone so anyways guys until the next one later